30 years ago, the black-footed ferret was thought to be extinct. And then a rare discovery in rural Wyoming revealed they still existed. Today, after years of captive breeding and release, the black-footed ferret is still one of the rarest animals to find in the wild. They're one of the most endangered mammals in North America, and not much was known about them. They're a very secretive, nocturnal animal, and, and we didn't really understand a lot, and there's a lot of learn as you go. What managers have learned is the black-footed ferret relies exclusively on prairie dogs for food and for its home. But with a fraction of the historic prairie dog colonies left in the United States, it has been a challenge to find suitable habitat to release ferrets. There's a lot more effort that's gone into documenting where prairie dogs are. There are some other areas of Montana that do show some promise and might provide some sufficient habitat for ferrets. Another challenge facing ferret recovery is play, which is lethal to prairie dogs and ferrets. There's some, some new things in, in the works and research trying to figure out how to better control plague, both with vaccines in prairie dogs and in ferrets. Currently, managers estimate 1,000 wild ferrets across the country. And while that might not seem like a lot, it is a long way from zero just three decades ago. That's a, a pretty good recovery success story of preventing extinction, but there's certainly still a long way to go to try and delist them and have multiple self-sustaining populations. Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.